evolution doesn't work to make us healthy or happy or comfortable. Um, we are evolved to just survive and thrive. Well, the title of the book is taken from uh, a feature of sperm cells, human sperm cells, that they only swim in right-hand corkscrews. And so that means that they're going to move in random directions. And so when sperm enters the birth canal, um, it doesn't home in on the egg and all go in the same direction. It spreads out aimlessly, um, moving around like dust particles in a room. And the reason why this is inefficient is because it means that the odds of any one sperm cell making it to the egg are very, very low. And so, for example, 100 million sperm, that sounds like a lot of cells, it's not enough. And that just goes to show how poor evolution is at making plans. Um, it, it's sort of a, what we call brute force approach of just throwing lots and lots and lots of cells, hoping that one of them makes it. The problem is our largest sinus cavities right here behind our cheekbones, um, which have the largest pockets of air, what's interesting about them is the drain pipe for the mucus is not at the bottom, or you might think, it's up at the top. And so we have to work very hard to brush that mucus upwards. You have too much dust or a lot of bacteria or any kinds of particles can get in there and it makes it too thick and too slow and since we're fighting gravity and skinny tubes it just gets stuck and it doesn't keep flowing properly and when that happens you get a festering infection and that could become a sinus infection or it could become the common cold <coughs> and this is really unique to humans um, even our closest relatives the other apes don't have this problem they have much better flow uh, humans really got the worst end of this anatomical uh, arrangement and that's why we get colds. That's one, one reason why we get cold as often as we do. Um, evolution doesn't work to make us healthy or happy or comfortable. Um, we are evolved to just survive and thrive and the reason why why we're allowed to have this terrible arrangement in our sinus cavities is because you don't die of the cold very often. We sort of live with it and that's how evolution works is it's the the race to be good enough not to be great. It's a, it's a battle for existence out there in nature, and most animals uh, are reliant on their bodies to be as fast as possible, as healthy as possible, and, or as strong as possible. Uh, but humans sort of took another path. The other path that we took is to be clever, uh, to invent things, to make tools, uh, and to come up with all kinds of creative solutions to our problems. The biggest question that we have yet to resolve is, is our big brain our biggest flaw or our biggest gift? We're, almost all of our problems are of our own making, which means we get to choose if are we going to solve those problems the same way we created them with science and technology and innovation, or are we going to collapse under the weight of all of these tools that we've created? Only time will tell.